What is limiting reagent? Theoretical chemical equations which we study specify precise amounts of reactants that will combine to give precise amounts of products. However, in a real chemical reaction, arbitrary amounts of reactants are mixed together and allowed to form products, which means that generally one of the reactants will be used up completely, while excess amounts of other reactants will remain after the reaction has run to its completion. A reactant that is totally consumed in a chemical reaction, thus limiting the amount of product produced during the reaction is known as a limiting reagent. Let's try a simple analogy to understand the concept of limiting reagent. Let's assume that there are three essential components required to create a motorcycle namely headlight, tires and the body containing engine, handle, seat etc. To create one motorcycle, we need one headlight, two tires and one body. Suppose we are given 10 headlights, 22 tires and 9 bodies. How many motorcycles can we create? By simple calculation, we can determine that with 10 headlights, we can create 10 motorcycles. With 22 tires, we can create 11 motorcycles and with 9 bodies, we can create 9 motorcycles only. Therefore, after we have consumed the total available 9 bodies to create 9 motorcycles, we are still left with 1 headlight and 4 tires which are present in excess and since number of available bodies is totally consumed, therefore, it is the limiting region. In chemical reactions, we use stoichiometry to determine the limiting region. Let's learn the steps followed in this process. Step 1. Balance the chemical equation for the chemical reaction. Step 2. Convert the given information into moles using molar mass or molar volume as a conversion factor. Step 3. Use stoichiometry for each individual reactant to find the mass of product produced. Step 4. The reactant that produces a lesser amount of product is the limiting reagent. Step 5. The reactant that produces a larger amount of product is the excess reagent. Step 6. To find the amount of remaining excess reactant, subtract the mass of excess reagent consumed from the total mass of excess reagent given. Let's solve an example to apply these steps and find the limiting reagent. Question. If 0.50 mole of BACL2 is mixed with 0.20 mole of Na3PO4, the maximum number of moles of BA3PO4 whole twice can be formed is? The options are A. 0.70 B. 0.50 C. 0.20 D. 0.10 this question was asked in IIT JEE 1981 exam. Solution We are given that barium chloride reacts with the sodium phosphate to produce barium phosphate and sodium chloride. As step 1, let's write the balanced chemical equation for this reaction. 3 BACL2 plus 2 Na3PO4 gives BA3 bracket PO4 2 plus 6 NaCl. In this reaction, 3 moles of BACL2 reacts with 2 moles of Na3PO4. This implies 1 mole of BACL2 will react with 2 by 3 moles of Na3PO4. Therefore, 0.50 moles of BACL2 will react with 2 by 3 into 0.50 moles of Na3PO4 which is equal to 0.33 moles of Na3PO4. Since the available amount of Na3PO4, that is 0.20 mole, is less than the required amount of 0.33 mole, therefore Na3PO4 is the limiting region and it will determine the amount of product BA3PO4 to formed. Because 2 moles of Na3PO4 give 1 mole of BA3PO4 too. Therefore, 0.2 mole of Na3PO4 will give 1 by 2 into 0.2 moles of Ba3PO4 2, which is equal to 0.10 mole of Ba3PO4 2. Hence, option D is the correct answer. This concludes our video on limiting region.
Students must remember the steps of determining limiting region and apply them to solve similar problems. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.